Hey, what is up, my friends? What is going on? We've got the music cranked up. Are you ready to hear the Word of God? Amen. Well, we're getting the uh, the mix, the sound, the volume. We're getting it all cranked up for you, my friends. And uh, hopefully you guys are getting a word. We are kicking it off here. As we get that music cued down. Amen. All right, there we go. What is up? Let's get this thing going. Uh, Minister Preacher Rick Rell here live on the air. Yes, uh, we've got, uh, well, hopefully everything's plugged in and queued up. Uh, let's see what we got. And then, so there we go. Uh, let's see. That devil, he's a sneaky little dude. Can you hear me? Uh, we are on the air live. Amen. Let's get this thing plugged in, cranked up. Let's switch the sides here, my friends. Amen. And there we go. We are cued, ready, fired, and blasting, ready to... There we go. All right, my friends. What is cooking? What is happening? We are live on the air. All right. Getting a little bit of technicalities. Hopefully, get that worked out. Because uh, that devil is a sneaky little dude. My friends, welcome. Uh, hopefully, we got uh, the good lights going on, because uh, well, I've tried to tried to fix everything up, friends. So, oh my gosh, it is Sunday. This is the service after the service. Amen. What is happening? Let's get this mic set ready to go i think hopefully well we got some adjustments coming but hopefully not too many my friends welcome uh sunday service after service message minister preacher rick rally here live life grace ministries on the air and uh we're gonna be getting into the book of uh philippians as we go into four uh, it's a little after 7.30 on a Sunday night. It is time for the Word of God. Amen. So I appreciate you guys being here, here tuning in. We got the captain's chair rolling. Uh, looks like my mixer or my phone is uh, doing some adjustments. I don't know. I never know what is happening here because this is live on the air. Let's get these captain's chairs rolling up friends we are live on the air i don't know like my like i said my phone is doing a little bit of adjustment so hopefully you guys can hear me i think maybe hopefully yep it looks good sounds good i uh, got the lights going oh my gosh how's your week been friends hey it's already uh starting up on a on a new work week uh, I was going to go on uh, YouTube tonight and I uh, probably needed just to hold off on that and just do the one live podcast and get some rest. i uh, not pushing myself too much here. Got a long, long work week, my friends. And so I don't know what's up with my phone. It just quit. That figures. I never know. And like I said, we are live. Live chat going on. There it is. Good grief. All right, let's get uh let's get the Facebook and the Twitter thing going on, friends. Let's check in with our Facebook. And uh Oh my gosh, let's see. Here we go. 
Well, let's see what's happening on the home front here. Let's get this message out. You know what we do. You know how we start. It's the same thing, but it's good to have it. Uh, your big book of love, your coffee, of course. We are drinking coffee tonight, so I'm happening there. All right, and your pens, paper, notebook, tablets. What else? Uh, beanbag chairs and your lava lamps for sure. You know you got to have that stuff. All right, so there we go. All right, let's get this uh, sent out on Twitter here. Let's uh, let's talk to our Facebook. Uh, Skype and Slack.com friends and Facebook and Twitter, of course. All right. Oh, man. All right. Ah, well, there we go. Uh, we are live. This is live up and running. We are at live stream friends praying for London as they once again... Uh, have come into uh, uh, an attack again. Uh, friends, this is getting too much up there. Uh, we, they need our prayers. And uh, if we join in together and get this prayers out to our our friends in uh, London, uh, friends, would you reach out and do the, uh, the what do you call those, uh, you know, the, the hashtag praying for London, friends. Let's get that out there. Let's start that and get that out there. You know, they just had another one last week, and now there's another one. Just happened overnight, and uh, a lot of suffering going on, friends, in this world and what's going on. So we got to stand our ground, stand firm in God's word family and friends so let's uh we got some notes we got a little bit of scriptures tonight i'm only going to probably do about an hour uh, maybe a little over an hour yes i got a late night late early morning actually uh going to work in the morning so uh i just want to get on here and get this message out and uh so you know i'm just in the word friends we got a dive bomb into the word all the time not just some of the time, but all the time. That's right, we do. Because uh, this is a rough... Some things are going on. I don't know what is up. Uh, so, hey, we're not going to spend too much time uh, rambling tonight. We're going to jump right straight into the Word and into the, into the bullet prayers for my family and friends. Listen, I'm going to just get right into it. Uh, you know, you guys can find me at Rebel TV, live stream, Ustream, Block Talk Radio, YouTube channel, and the Spreaker.com. Uh, I just sent in a quick, couple of quick shout out prayers. Uh, my friend Sophie in Switzerland, we're praying for you. Always keeping you in our thoughts and prayers, darling. Andrea in New York, uh, the warrior, uh, praying for you, keeping you in our prayers and thoughts. Amen. That is for sure. And uh, Laura, of course, and uh, local here, you know where you're at. Uh, we are praying for you. Hey, we're getting you, we're getting you caught up uh, in the Word of God, Amen. So as I, I just want to go. There was something, you know, one of the prayers that just kind of reached out to me. But we are going to go into Philippians four, friends. If you get your Bibles, go ahead and grab your Bibles, if you will. We're we're just. Like I said, friends, we are just going to get straight into that word uh, because there is so much going on uh, that, uh, hey, we need to be armed, uh, definitely. And uh, let's see, where was that at? There was something in there I was trying to find. I don't know why I can't find it now. But uh, there was something I wanted to get a prayer for the warriors out there that are fighting and on the front line praying and stuff. Uh, so somewhere, somewhere in there in my thousands and thousands of notes in here somewhere, I had it set up. And uh, this is all, 
all ready to go, my friends. I just I get lost here when I when it comes to my notes. So uh, you know those you got all that that stuff here. Where is it? Where did it go? My God! My God! All right. Well, I am still looking for somewhere in this. Well, we got First Peter five one four and six through eleven as the elders and the flocks. Well, we'll probably get into that here in a minute, but. Oh my gosh. All right, so we'll we get back to that, friends. Let's get into a, a quick prayer here, if you will. Go ahead and uh, uh, just get your, you know, get your battle gear ready. We're going to give you some scriptures, and then we're going to go into Philippians 4. Amen. As I kind of readjusted uh, my desk a little bit here, so I can actually have my big book of love, that King James Version, uh, sitting right here ready to go. Uh, Father God, I just give this to you right now. I just lift this uh, podcast up to you for all the precious saints that are out there that are watching and may uh, just be tuning in. Uh, just uh, lift them up in uh, your uh, your mighty power and your spirit, your grace, love, and mercy. And uh, I just give this to you. Bind, bind in the spirits right now. And uh, put that devil on the hold, and uh, because he is uh, fighting and getting uh, just a stronghold, so we got to break those chains. We got to break that spirit, and uh, just trust in you more and more every day, and give this to you. Give this, uh, you, give your spirit, your angels, just wrap that, uh, wrap them around the saints that are watching, that are just kind of checking this out. They're babies. In uh, in you, Christ, and, and, and in Christ, and, and in you, God. So I'll just lift this up right now. Just binding the spirits uh, of ho- hopelessness, desperation, depression, schizophrenia. I want to just bind and break all those chains right now, God. I give them to you because we know you are the healer. You are the antidote. You are everything. Uh, amen. And I want to just, in your precious son's name, I want to just give this to you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, church, and the church says amen, amen, amen. And we're up and running on Life Grace Ministries. Minister Preacher Rick Rowley here live on the Internet web. We are at Live Stream Producer. Uh, Check it out, friends, if you will. And uh, if you get a chance to zip on over to the mothership, uh, that uh, YouTube channel, friends, go ahead and like and subscribe on those channels, friends, because hey, that's I need you know hey, I'm not I don't know where to go with that uh, anyway. Just uh, you know, if you're getting something out of this, hit that like and subscribe button. Send me a comment. Now, don't send me no hate mail, because I'm just going to love you anyway. All right, that's for sure. So we got, hang on, there we go. I want to make sure I got my my notes so I can actually see something here as we are just, uh, I've been redoing uh, the desk here, trying to get everything situated a little bit better. So I've got some stuff going on. All right. Man, I knew them yawns. Now, I've been sleeping for a couple hours. And I knew those yawns were creeping up on me. Sorry about that, friends. You know how it is. Uh, You know, hectic schedule. Busy. Got a lot going on. Trying to keep up with everything. But I appreciate you guys getting in here. Just hanging out. Well, well, you know what? Let's just jump right into the book of uh, Philippians here. We kind of already got that sent out of the way, so let's just get our big books. You know, I'm in the King James Version, friends, and we're just going to go through 1 through 23 because it is 19, but we are 
we're going to just jump right here. Oh, my gosh. I just looked at the playback on that. That's terrible, friends. Sorry about the yawns, but uh, I, I'm, I'm double working triple shots here and just doing a whole bunch of stuff. So, amen. Hey, I would rather be in the in, the, in uh, being about my father's business and keep him busy. You're right. Amen. So let's get into the word. Chapter 4, Rejoice in the Lord. Philippians 4, my friends. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and long for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Yodius and beseech Sintiak that they be the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, or yoke fellow, help those women who labored, or which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other uh, my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Uh, Thick, or think, thick. That's what I get for having way too many notes in my notes. Think on these things. In verse 8. Finally, brethren, whosoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Appreciation for all or for the gift. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful. But ye lack opportunity now that I speak in respect of want, for I wished or I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to be a, a how to abound. Everywhere in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to be abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. Notwithstanding ye, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians, no. Also, that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonia, or Thessalonica, uh, ye send once and again unto my necessity. Not because I desired a gift, but desired fruit that may... Uh, abound to your account but I have all and abound I am full having received of Ephrodotius uh, Ephrodotius I, I'm going to get these words if it's my gosh friends there are a lot of uh, really tough words in the King James the things which are sent from you an odor of sweet smell of a sweet smell a sacrifice acceptable well pleasing to God how cool is that? But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Jesus Christ. Amen. If you trust on that name of Christ, amen, he will supply all your needs. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, greetings and benediction 21. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me greet you. All the saints salute you chiefly. They that are of Caesar's household, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen and amen. Man, that is uh, that's good. I love uh, Philippians as uh, as I've 
got like a, I don't know, tons of notes and messages here that I've been just going over and reading and stuff, friends. So, Amen. So, listen, I just wanted to get on, uh, get on here a little bit, spend some time with you guys. Uh, a little after 7.30, uh, I had uh, pizza earlier, and I, I, I feel like I've got like a little bit like right stuck in my tooth. Uh, so, hey, you know how realistic, you, are, you know how real I am. You know how transparent I get, folks. I don't hold nothing back. This is live. We're live on the air worldwide. My friends across the globe, you guys are awesome. And uh, try to get on a little earlier on Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays, I'm going to try to get uh, get up here about 730. Uh, hopefully, I uh, can keep the schedule. I re I rewrote it because I work during a week. It's tough to get uh, some time uh, in between stuff, but I I'm hey I got it scheduled, and uh, so the YouTube uh, we'll be doing live Saturday and Sundays about four thirty, and then jumping over here to uh, live stream about uh, seven thirty or so, and then of course I uh, trying to hit uh, after this we're trying to go to UStream TV. Uh, about 9.30, just close the night out, 9.30 to 11 o'clock. That should give me enough time to get some rest and get ready for the next day. And then we're going to do the upgrade on Blog Talk Radio here pretty soon, probably this week here, friends. So stay tuned to Blog Talk Radio. Uh, I'm going to be scheduling Monday through Sunday every day, hopefully on the weekends, about 3 to four o'clock uh, as you get two uh, one hour shows a day so i gotta figure out monday through friday uh probably trying to work around everything and because uh, i'd like to get on there daily now that i'm going to do the upgrade here i am so uh, ecstatic about things uh, uh, god has just Kick down the mountains, kick the doors down, and, and then move the mountains completely out of the way. And uh, I'm excited about uh, the future. Uh, there's a lot going on, a lot of changes that's coming your way with the ministries. And uh, it's, oh my gosh, friends, I am, am so excited. I am static. So I just can't stand it. Amen. All right, well, let's let's do this real quick here. Uh, where is this at? I was going to go into uh, this uh, uh, NIV that I got going on here. I've been reading out of it. And uh, where is it? So, perseverance, uh, talking about how to find God living water for those who thirst in the New Testament, NLT. Uh, I've been going through here a little bit, friends. If you want now, if you go to Cornerstones, page eight thirty one, the perseverance is what we are talking about, friends. Because we really, we really, we've been battered so much by the devil and so much about what's going on that we have got to stand firm in God's word, friends. And that's what I'm trying to give you. That's the point and the purpose of why I've been on here so much constantly. Just trying to run through this stuff and give you as much positive messages as I can, as the Spirit, uh, you know, as the Spirit gives it to me. And so, uh, it is imperative, friends, that we stay in the Word. And like I said, it's not about me. As I try to adjust my my computer here. Amen. So, there we go. I got a new backdrop, kind of fixed it up a little bit. I uh, hope you like it. I just try to shake it up a little bit here and maneuver some stuff around. Hey, you know, doing God's work is not easy, friends. I'm not kidding, but I love it. I, it's it, Hey, we've been all attacked. We, we've all been attacked here. And so... Uh, you know, hey, we're we're getting the word out. We're getting God's word out. We're getting His message out, and that is cool. Oh my gosh, friends, let's get into the if, let's get into this uh, perseverance. 
uh, sending some shout outs, some prayers out to my friends. And I am just grateful to be able to bring the church to you. If you can't get out to the least, the lost, and the last of this world, friends. Life Grace Ministries. Minister Preacher Rick Rowley. Hey, my stuff is falling off. That's all right. I got it right there. We're all in check. We got our coffee. I didn't get a chance to head up to the VIP lounge. But I've got some coffee from this morning. So... I'm all right with that. I uh, had my Pepsi yesterday, so I am golden. I am good to go. My friends, just getting this word out, getting the message out. I know. Some crazy guy on the air uh, preaching and teaching the word of God. Oh, my gosh. How's that? Who does church, double church on a Sunday? Well, we do. Actually, we have double. Like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so. You know where you're at, and you know what's going on. You got everything loaded up. All right, busy month of June. My birthday, of course, is on the 22nd. Uh, Where are we at? What date is this? The 4th already. So it's about, uh, about two weeks. Oh, my gosh, friends. Hey, I'm just, I'm just getting started. God has preserved and reserved me for a better position, and I'm getting there one day at a time. Amen. Praying to God every day. Live to please God. Amen. Uh, Surrendering your life to the leading of the Holy Spirit is the only way to live a life that is pleasing to God. Go look at Romans 8, 5, 8. Excellent. Of course, always, as usual, All right, are you getting that, friends? Live to please God. Amen. That was a good little side note there. Amen. Let's get into the perseverance here. Now, there will be times in your Christian walk when you feel emotionally down. How many times, friends, have have we gone across that? How, How many times have we faced that? You may think that God has forgotten about you, my friends, or you might become discouraged as you see others who have uh, professed faith in Jesus Christ lose uh, interest or lose interest in spiritual things and fall away. You may begin to wonder whether you are next on the devil's hit list. Stay focused, friends. Don't get sidetracked. But God will not allow you to be hit with more than you can handle spiritually. I'm telling you, it's true, friends. You can hang in there. Uh, in fact, it is during times of trouble that you will actually be strengthened, not weakened. As you read your Bible, friends, are you reading your Bible every single day? Have you gotten a message every single day, friends? You've got to stay in that word. Amen. Mm, where'd we go? But God will not allow you to be hit with one more thing that you can ha- you can handle spiritually. In fact, it's it is during times of trouble that you will actually be strengthened and not weakened. I had to read that again. As you read your Bible, you will come across words like endurance and perseverance. These words are often used when the Bible compares the Christian life to a race. The race referred to is a marathon, not a 50-yard dash because the Christian life is a long-distance run. You need to pace yourself to persevere and most of all to finish the race. Look up the following passages that describe how and why you need to persevere through the inevitable struggles of life. Perseverance produces results as you Steadily grow in your understanding of God's word and apply it to your life. You will win others to the Lord in Luke 8.15. Life's trials will make you stronger. You shouldn't view difficulties as obstacles to your faith, but as opportunities to spiritually grow. Look at James 1, 2, and 4. Christ endured great pain for us. Jesus modeled the ultimate endurance, so that we would be encouraged to keep our faith strong in the race of life in Hebrews 12, 1 through 3. God honors those who persevere. A wholehearted commitment 
to God will enable you to finish well with your faith intact. Look at 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8. Excellent. I just had to go over this. All right. Well, there you go. There's a little uh, little message for you, friends. Let's get into uh, let's get into this one real quick here. Uh, Psalms 34, 1 through 10. The Lord hears the righteous. I will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me up from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were uh, were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear and delivereth. Amen. O taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. O fear the Lord, ye his saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. And the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. Uh, But they that seek the Lord not want only good things. Amen. All right, so Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget the, ch- or forget the children. Man. Wow. 1 Corinthians 1, 1 through 13. The greatest of these is love. Though I speak with the tongues of men and the angels, and have not love, I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, understand all prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my gifts, gifts, my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profited nothing. Love suffereth long and it is kind. Love envieth not love, vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up, uh, puffed up, uh, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinking not evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come. Amen. Then that which is part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, or spoke, I understood as a child and I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I also am known. And now abideth faith, hope, love, these three, by the greatest of these is love, but the greatest of these. Amen. John seventeen twenty twenty six. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, and but they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I gave, have given them, but they may be one, even... As we are one, I and them and thou and me, and that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, 
that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them the name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved may be in them, and I in them. Man, that is a mouthful, brothers and sisters. Now, let's see. Let's let's get this headset in there. Uh, as I was trying to go, I was trying to go find this uh, other scripture that I had in mind, and that the spirit just kind of threw at me as I still getting these shifts, which is really funny. So. Yeah, you know how he is, friends. Somewhere. Somewhere. Not somewhere over the rainbow. No, I'm not singing that song, friends. I'm just trying to get you the word here. We uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover. And uh, in a little uh, time that I'm going to be spending with you guys today. I grateful to be here. Hopefully that lighting. Now I switched off the other camera because it just wasn't working for me. It kept zooming in and out, and so I just reverted back to the Windows uh, laptop thing. Now hopefully in this, I'm praying on this. Uh, I am going to be upgrading uh, and getting another laptop here uh, pretty soon. So, uh, stay tuned. Got to, got lots of surprises. Uh, the equipment's coming. Amen. Well, how's your day going, friends? What is up? We're live uh, in the upper hill, in the upper room. Uh, Life Grace Studios. Uh, hanging out on a Sunday night after church service here. We're just giving you the second run of the Word of God. Amen. And uh, kind of just hanging out. And uh, where is this? Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, we're uh, we're just chilling out. We're hanging out with the Word of God here. So we're just getting, uh, checking the messages. Wanted to make sure that I didn't forget anything. That, uh, amen. Well, that, uh, that's okay, friends. Amen. Uh, well, let's grab some coffee while we uh, got a minute here. I'm glad your day is going good. Uh, let's get on some armor, friends. Why? Why don't we do that? Why? Why? While we're sitting here, uh, hanging out, praying on the word, Amen. As uh, I'm just looking over at Philippians uh, three. And two, oh my gosh, beware of dogs. Beware of evil words. What? Uh, workers and beware of the concession. C what? Concision. Go look that up. There's your homework for the night. Amen. What is going on? Uh, Minister Preacher Rick Rowley here, Life Grace Ministries. Uh, we're just chilling. We're hanging out with the Word of God. Amen. Uh, I'm glad you guys are here. Appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we're we're gonna spend a little bit of time here, probably about an hour or so. Uh, you know, it's like I said, we start off our Mondays. Got to get uh, got to get to work. And but I wanted to come on here and just give you a little message. Amen. Amen. So as I try to look over. Oh my gosh, friends, I got so much stuff just scrambled around here. It's amazing that I'm even I'm just man, oh man, I, I just love it. 
All right, so the whole armor of God, friends, uh, Ephesians 6, 10, 18, well, 10 through 20, because they're missing 19 and 20. They don't want to seem to catch that part, so uh, that's not good. That's really not good, friends. We've got to get all of it. Uh, all right, end of the King James. Finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against... Uh, wait, did I, I missed that. Uh-oh. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. There we go. Amen. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against the powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore... Take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Uh, and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the word of the spirit which is the word of God of course praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints amen and for me and for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that there I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, let's see. I got so much to give you. I got so much to go. What am I doing here? Does anybody know? Well, I am trusting God, and I am giving it to God. That's for, that's for sure. Uh, that's true. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, I know. Come on, Holy Spirit. I know you're there. You're you're preaching to me. Psalms ninety-one, one through eight, friends. Can you dig it? Can you can you catch that, friends? I know. I probably just blasting, blasting the devil right out of the system. Psalms 91, uh, he that dwelleth in a secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Uh, my God in him I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings. Shalt thou trust his truth? shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day. Jesus is ever interceding on our behalf. That alone should embolden faith in him. And we can have immovable and unshakable confidence that he will be our anchor and our steadfast hope on the rolling tides and the crashing waves. He will see us safely through the storm and guide us to our safety. Ah, uh, pretty amazing. Pretty cool. I should say so. All right. Good scriptures, friends. I'm just trying to load you up today on uh, some power scriptures here to, to fill your day so that you stay in that word. Well, we know in Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, uh, For by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God not of works, lest any man should boast. And of course, hey, we're jumping. I'm throwing stuff at you, friends. Can you catch them? Jeremiah 29, 11, 13, amen. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek and find me when ye, ye shall search for me with all your hearts. Amen. Psalms 139.23, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me, 
and know my anxious thoughts. Where is this at? You know, I got so many of this, these scriptures here, friends. I just want to make sure that you guys get all this stuff. Now, we know this one. We got to have this one, friends. Isaiah 53, 3 and 5. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was him. And friends, we know this. We know the scripture, friends. And by his stripes, we were healed. Amen. Good news for you. What is up? What's going on? Are you? Are you here? All right. All right. So that's what I got to do. Uh, where's he going here? He is just throwing scriptures left and right at me, friends. I'm trying to keep up with the spirit. First John four sixteen seventeen. Love has been perfected among us in this. That we may have boldness in the day of the judgment, or in judgment, as he is, so are we in this world. Romans 5, 1, 18 and 21, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations. Also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed because of the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, uh, uh, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet... A pure adventure, or per adventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love towards us in that while we're yet sinners. Christ died for us much more than being now justified by the blood or by his blood. We shall be saved from wrath through him. For it, or if, when we were enemies, when we were enemies. Okay, so for if... Oh, uh, my gosh. That is 10. I jumped it here. When we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved. Uh, what? By his life. Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Wow, that is good. Well, some homework for you, friends. Uh, we got this one. Uh, where was it at? Where did it go? Hey, Amen. I got to give you all this stuff. I got to just load up on it. Uh, again. Uh, looking for well, I got First John. First John. Uh, Five thirteen fifteen. These things I have written unto you, to believe on the name of the Son of God, and this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us, and if we know that we have the petitions. That we desired of him. God's word will not fail us my friends. Never. If we'll not refuse to give up. Keep on standing on the rock of God's word. And it won't let you down. God's word will not fail us. It is important for us to realize. That after we have prayed. And an apparent delay in the answer. Not hearing God's voice right away. Does not mean. Friends. That help isn't on the way. Can you can you feel that, friends? Can you just get that and understand that? How cool is that? 
Amen. I got a lot of stuff. My gosh. All right. So where is that as my... Oh, my gosh, friends. I am just loaded with messages here. This is why... This is why I have got to get this this message out to you guys. This this is this would be very selfish of me to be sitting here with all this information day in and day out and not share this with you guys. Uh that would be very selfish and this is why I push, uh, probably push myself a little bit too hard sometimes, uh, but I, I push myself to bring this word to you guys on a daily basis if possible. Now, with a new job, that kind of throws things up a little bit, but I've always got time for my friends to share God's word. Amen. That is my position. That is true. So I lost my I lost my message here. I was trying to go this somewhere here with Psalms. And I ended up missing it somewhere. Uh, hang on, friends. Hold on. Hold that message. Hold that thought. Don't go changing. Don't go running off. I'm right here. That's for sure. Well, so we get this somewhere in all this mess here. Somewhere. Oh, my gosh. Lots of messages. Lots of messages here. So somewhere in this, oh man, well, family, we are just cruising right through here, I'm trying to find this Psalms 91, where is that at? Amen. Well, I guess I will try to get back to that. Because uh, somewhere in my thousands of notes here, it is, I, I'm rewriting it again. I'm working on it again to get this all kind of structured down again. Amen. There it is. Well, there's one of them anyway. Oh my gosh, family. Well, hey, when you're when you're in God's word, friends, it just it just happens to be that way. All right. So, well, I'll just wake up here and get this message out. Uh, so, uh, now, where is my other notes? There we go. All right. Let's get into the sinner's prayer here, friends. Hey, this is live. I love doing this. This is what happens sometimes. I get all this kind of jumbled around here. Amen. Sinner's prayer. Friends, go ahead and say this if you will. Think about the words. Just meditate on the precious words of our Savior. Amen. That's pretty cool here. The sinner's prayer, friends. Meditate on this if you will. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. I thank you for dying on the cross for me, and I confess with my mouth, and I believe you are the Lord, and that God raised you from the dead. Please forgive me of my sins and wash my heart clean and come and live in my heart. The Lord of my life, be the Lord of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me to walk with you the rest of my life. Amen. And I confess that I am a sinner, and I have prayed for giving all those who have sinned against me. And I ask for strength from the Lord to help me follow a path and lead others by the will of God. Romans ten nine twenty one. 21. Uh, then if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and shalt believe in thine heart 
that God raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Thou shalt be saved. How precious is that? For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They shall be saved. That's true. That is really, really true. Amen. All right. So hang on here. I've taken notes. I had to write something down here, friends. You know how we are. You know what we do. All right. Because God does not uh, give us the spirit of fear. Amen. Amen. All right. So, trying to catch up. Uh, trying to trying to keep up on this stuff friends that just happens so much all right catching up on notes and stuff here friends now how then shall they call on him if they have not believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard how shall they hear without a preacher and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things but they have not all obeyed the gospel for he saith or isaiah saith lord who hath believed our report so then faith comes by hearing friends and hearing by the word of God. Amen. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth and their words into the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know first Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy that are no people and by the foolish nation I will anger you. But he saith, or Isaiah, is very bold again and say, or saith, I was found to them that sought me not, and I was made manifest to them that asked not after me. But to Israel he saith all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. There you go, friends. If you have accepted Christ into your hearts, into your souls, into your minds, uh, get a hold of me right here at lifegraceministry60 at gmail.com. The official email for the ministries. And we will pray for you, friends. Uh, we've got a plethora, an army of uh, soldiers that are fighting in this uh, battle together. We're standing together. Amen. Let's, uh, let's bring them up. Let's get them, let's, let's get them up here, friends. Uh, some of the friends of the ministries in support Craig Day or Uniting Christian Brotherhood Inner Peace One Ministries going global. Jump on that, friends. Get on board with this because this is uh, we got to overpower the devil, uh, his fear with our faith in God. Amen. And we have to because that I'm getting right at it because the devil is trying to overcome our faith. With his fear, he's trying to keep us in fear. He's trying to get us in fear by, uh, like, just trying to trying to just block all of our faith that we have in God. And, and that's why the Bible, the Word of God, is so uh, important, friends. You gotta stay with that. Amen. You gotta stay with it, friends. All right, so for all your Christian spiritual needs and supplies, go to Coffers Christian Bookstore. Doug and his staff local, if you know where it's at, you know what's up. Because uh, you know, friends, God is our supplier. And he takes care of all our needs. Amen. If you just have that faith of a mustard seed. Now, it's getting regional, friends. Regional and worldwide. Pretty cool. 
uh, Neil Render TV in Chicagoland, uh, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, YouTube, my CBN, Facebook, and Instagram. Jump on that. Go check him out. He's really good. Go check it out. K one ninety five point five FM Power Radio, Annis Texas, good host there, and J David Ford and his wife Rose and the crew in Ennis, Texas, uh, the Power Radio Spiritual. Get the app. My God, that app is so cool. Uh, the Gospel Faith Messenger Ministry, Pastor Rodney and his wife Jean Francis in New Zealand, clear across the globe with the ministries, Kingdom Faith. International Ministries in Massachusetts, Paula Cross, which I looked up information because I got a the spiritual nudge from the Spirit on the Elijah anointing, and that was good. Uh, Jessica Rhodes wrote the success at uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, Amy Schmidhauer at Vlog Like a Boss, YouTube and Instagram, or Facebook, I believe. And Heather Havenwood, uh, YouTube uh, at Austin, Texas, uh, they are uh, podcast advisors, friend. If you're getting into the podcast vlogging uh, life, friends, these guys, these girls, these women are awesome, awesome, and very powerful. Check it out. Go get a book. Go get the books. I still got mine. I'm still working on it. I've got to Chapter 7, uh, roughly around 6 or 7. I'm still rereading it. I take it with me as I can. Don't forget now, I'm going to be doing some upgrades. Blog Talk Radio is going to be about one to two hours a day, uh, hopefully Monday through Sunday. Definitely on the weekends, uh, I'm going to be doing a live thing, uh, working on Rabble TV. It's got the beta testing. I'm having a conversation with the boss man tomorrow. See what's up. Amen for sure. Uh, praise God. Hey. I've got a few more messages, and we are into our hour. My family and friends, I'm glad you guys stopped by hanging out with me for a little bit here anyway. Hey, it is Sunday night, the service after the service message. Uh, now, the whole work schedule has kind of, uh, kind of, hey, it's not put a damper on anything. It's made it better, friends. Uh, so, we are, I just noticed... Uh, coffee on my mic stand. That is not cool. Uh, so I'm still going to be on here, friends. I have not forgotten you guys. Uh, I may skip a day, but just to get, you know, some rest. Because uh, I definitely don't want to push myself. I I don't want to. I don't want to burn out. Uh, because you can't minister the word when you're burned out and tired, friends. You got to be in the spirit. Yeah, that is for sure. And so I have got to stay uh, on it and uh, make sure make sure that I keep up with everything. And as I write no, more notes down, my gosh, friends. You know how we roll. You know what we do. And uh, I am trying to keep up with all these notes. I, I got stuff. I can't wait to get the other computer. That is going to be so cool. Uh, that is going to be just awesome. And I'll be doing that probably this week. Hopefully stepping into it this week sometime. Amen for sure. All right. So, hey, some more messages. Let's get into Deuteronomy uh, 31, 6 through 8. Be strong and courageous. Can you do that, friends? Can you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified or afraid or terrified uh, because of them. Right? For the Lord your God goes with you. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. And the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Amen. That's what I'm trying to do here, friends. I'm trying to edify you and build you up in the spirit. Amen. So there we go. Amen. Uh, I can tell. My lips bothering me. Uh, 
that's all right. I'll get through it. Hey, I'm just trying to get the word of God out. Amen. So, well, as I continue in this, uh, surrender yourselves completely to the Lord. Apply God's promises to your everyday life. Trust Him no matter what comes your way. Receive what God has already provided. And be encouraged to keep your faith in God no matter what obstacles you face. He will turn your situations around. When we build our lives on the truth of God's word, we are building on an eternal foundation that cannot be destroyed. Amen. Possess the promise. God's word says it is his will to heal us and through Jesus' death on Calvary and resurrection, the price of sin or poor sin has been paid and sickness has been borne away. As you walk with God, take time every day to thank him for the gift of healing that he has given us through Jesus Christ. And know that like any other gift, it is ours freely, grace. All we have to do is accept it, family. And by faith possess the healing he has promised us in Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. And know what belongs to you. God doesn't wonder whether it is his will that we be healed. He wants us to know what his word says about it in Christ. Because we are already healed, friends, by his stripes. Amen. That's right. And we let his word build up our faith for healing whenever we need it. Trust God with all your heart. I bet you can do that. Romans 8, 17, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs with Christ, if we indeed suffer with him, that we be also glorified together. Good news. Stand fast, stand firm in the word. Trust God always. Uh, amen. Romans 91 most high Elion, under the shadow of the Almighty God, my refuge, my protector. He shall deliver thee. Do not be afraid. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Many may fall, but not you. You will come and his angels concerning you to guard you. You are protected from the dragon serpent. And God acknowledges your name and lifts you up. He will rescue and protect you. Isaiah 40.11 How our Lord cares for his sheep. How often he lifts us when we are low and supports us when we are weak. He gathers the lambs in him and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that are with young. John 10, 27, 30, And my sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life. And it shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hands. John three fifteen eighteen That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Amen. Uh, those are from Carrie, my friend over at Facebook. She uh, put them up on Facebook, and I, uh, I just uh, grabbed them. Uh, because she is a warrior out there getting God's message out. It's so cool. Uh, I need that support. Send friends, send in your scriptures. If you have prayer requests, let me know. I will pray for you. I will uh, call upon the name of the Lord to bind and, and, and break those chains, those spirits that have you wrapped up in the darkness. Amen. I'm going to get to that. John 12, 44, 50. And John 15. Oh, let's go. John 12, 44, 50, friends. And Jesus cried out and he said, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone, friends. Did I not get passes? So we're still looking at the other one. Oh, my gosh, friends. I got excited. John 3, 15, 18 continues. 
His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Amen. 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 All right, now we go into John twelve forty four and 50. Jesus cried and he said, He that believe on me believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth, what? He that sent me, I, I botched this one up really bad, friends. I, I apologize for that. Uh, somehow, I got these words mixed up here. John twelve forty four. Let me go back into my notes. Uh, I can't believe I did that. I know better than that. And he that seeth me, what? So John twelve forty four, friends. Well, let's see where they would be. Twelve forty four and fifty. Uh, Jesus cried and he said he that believeth on me believeth not on me but on him that sent me for I come a light into the world that whosoever believeth in me should not abide in darkness and if any man hear my words and believeth not I judge him not for I come not to judge the world and he that rejecteth me and I receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth me or him the word that I have spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak, and I know that his commandments is everlasting, or life everlasting, whatsoever I speak, therefore even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. There we go. So 1244, Jesus cried and he said, and believeth, he that believeth on him on me and believeth not on me but on him that sent me and he that sent ah see I knew it sent me that sent me but on him that sent me Oh, my gosh. There we go. For I come a light. Amen. Amen. All right. For I came or I come a light into the world. I ought to know better than that. I... I uh, was getting so excited about getting the word out that I I completely jumbled this whole thing. I actually went way over the top of this. He that sent me, I don't understand why I did that. I get so excited about this word, my friends. Uh, yep, that's what happens when you're in the Holy Spirit, my family. Uh, that's what I do. So, I got a little bit of homework to do, a little bit of writing and reprisal to do here. Hey, that's okay. At least I'm getting a word, friends. All right. So, John 15, 16, 18, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. That ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, that you love one another, that if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you are of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. Because they know not him that which sent me, but gave me a commandment for which I should speak. Therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Man. Ah, oh, my gosh, friends. There we go. Amen. 
And he that sent me. There you go. Uh, he that, uh, but on him that sent me. And he that sent me. Oh, uh, boy. Somehow, I might have to go back and do this. Yep. That is going to be a fun fix. Uh, I'm going to have to figure this whole thing out because I, I got this thing all messed up here. So, you know, get excited. Can't help it. All right. So, we are going to do a little bit of homework. This is going to be a little bit of a workout tonight here, friends, as we get up. Now, I didn't finish all my notes. That's what I was rushing to try to get through because I hadn't really had a chance uh, to uh, to really to, to really go through this and finish this all out. So, all right. So there we go, friends. On the air, live, we are fixing and remixing. Uh, amen. Uh, we will... Uh, we will work on this here in a little bit, friends. We are going to close out real quick here. Uh, so I wanted to make sure, like I said, I wanted to get shoot through this and... Uh, Get this message in here. Amen. All right. We are giving it to God. Amen. Uh, glad that you guys could hang out, even though I kind of got off a couple minutes late here. I was really trying to start on time for once. I've been so busy and bogged down with stuff that I just didn't had really any time to to really get in here. So I truly, truly appreciate uh, you guys hanging out, uh, even though it's a little botched sometimes. I I try and uh, you know I, I try to try to get this message on here. Uh, So, I'm trying to work on this. My my lips bothering me again, so I don't know. I'll I will work on this here uh, tonight, try to get all this straightened out. Otherwise, I'm going to end up rewriting it again. So, hopefully, it uh Well, I, like I said, I got some homework to do, friends. Uh, I do. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's just jump into this one. You know this one very well. Uh, it's uh, the gift of no condemnation. I just want to close out with this, friends. John eight eleven. Neither do I condemn you, go and sin no more. When Jesus was on earth, a woman caught in the act of adultery was brought before him by the scribes and the Pharisees, the religious mafia of his day. They tried to trap him by possessing or posing a question that was difficult to answer. Now Moses in the law commanded us that we, or that such should be stoned. But what do you say? John 8, 5, Jesus answered, he who was without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. John 8, 7. The scribes and the Pharisees began to leave one by one till none of them were left. The people in the crowd who wanted to condemn the woman could not. But Jesus, the only one in the crowd who truly had the power to condemn her, would not. He then asked her, Woman, has no one condemned you? John eight ten. He spoke such words of grace to her because he loved her. Also, by asking her the question, he was giving her a chance to speak words of no condemnation to herself. No, no one condemns me, Lord. 
John 8, 11. Jesus not only spoke words of grace to her, he also gave her the gift of no condemnation. Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. It was when she received the gift of no condemnation that she had the power to go and sin no more. Today you have the gift of no condemnation uh, because the Son of God was condemned for all your sins. In Romans 8, 1, or 8, 1. Today God cannot condemn you when you sin because he's faithful and just to what his Son has done. So if the devil tries to convince you that God is angry with you, when you blow it, just say, God does not condemn me today because he's already condemned Jesus at the cross 2,000 years ago. Unfortunately, we still hear people say, go and sin no more first. Then I won't condemn you. Maybe you have been saying this to yourself too, but God says, I don't condemn you. Go and sin no more. He gives you the gift of no condemnation so that you have the strength to go and sin no more. Amen. Beautiful. Hey, your homework. Psalms 23 and Matthew 5, 3 and 12, friends, if you want. All right. So, amen. Well, I'm still kind of working on this stuff tonight, folks. Amen. All right. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. You guys have been awesome uh, as usual. And uh, we will be back. I'll look at the scheduling tomorrow. See where we're at. Uh, Monday, we have, uh, we're, in, we're in a prayer night here. And uh, so Monday, I've kind of taken some time off. Uh, I believe I'm scheduled Monday and Thursday about 9.30 to 11 on YouTube. And I uh, just got to try to take it easy, rest a little bit. Uh, it'll be a hot day out there tomorrow. Uh, so, amen. Well, there we go. All right, my friends, that's it. We are out of here. I will uh, be working on homework tonight. Stay in the Word of God, amen, and stay in uh, stay in the Word of God. That's all I can say. Trust God with all your heart. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Let uh, let God uh, His light let His light shine in you. Be the light, amen. To, to to the darkness of this world, friends. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Life Grace Ministries, Minister Preacher Rick Rowley, just giving you some messages of God. Amen. That's all that I was supposed to do. I am just obeying what the Spirit has said, uh, what God has said to do, and uh, not, uh, not to, hey, staying in my lane, friends, because uh, I had arguments with the Spirit before, and I definitely lost that round. So I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to go back. Uh, coming up on our 200th show here in a few days, a couple of days here, actually. And uh, so I'm uh, grateful that you guys are here. From the upper hill in the upper room, speaking God's word, amen, uh, speaking life through uh, what is it? Speaking life through God's grace. Amen. I know that word very well. You guys are awesome. And uh, your humble uh, voice in the wilderness crying out uh, for the messages here of God. Amen. Life Grace Ministries. Minister Preacher Rick Rally here live. Coming to you on a Sunday night. It's the service after the service message. Oh, my God. We are grateful that you guys are here. Hey, I'll see you soon. Stay in the Word. Trust God. And have a great week. I will be back again here really, really soon. And uh, I'll be uh, giving you some more messages as the Spirit talks to me and gives me the Word of God. Amen. Well, we're counting down here about uh, 9 o'clock. That'll wrap it up. You guys have a good night. Have a good weekend. My friend of Japan, Oni, Pastor Oni in Japan, uh, Tokyo. Konnichiwa. Domo arigato. Talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend. My cosmic princess. Be talking to you soon, huh? 
and uh, keep up the videos. They are great. I love them. I'll be talking to you soon. All right. For all my friends at Facebook and Twitter, uh, keeping you in my prayers and thoughts always, even though you don't think you need it, I'm still going to pray for you because that is my mission. That's my calling. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, and that's, uh, that is what I'm, I've got going on here. Friends, you're awesome. I'll talk to you soon. Blessings and Shabbat Shalom. Amen.